Oh, did you know we had an album in English charts? Um, no. Well, oh, it went in. It's uh, it's uh, it went it... number twenty one up to fifteen, and it's going down again. But it's the best of suite. Oh yeah, it, it is the uh, the hit singles. Yeah. The the one that's a double CD with forty songs. No, that's another one. <laughs> Oh, that, oh, that's the one I just got. I didn't know about another one that just came out. Yeah, it's on um, Polygram. Oh, Polygram. Yeah. And it, it's just called Best of Sweet? I've forgotten what it's called. Oh, wow. Well. Um, <laughs> There's so many compilations on you guys that keep getting released, yeah. Yeah, I like to keep tracks on it as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I can't remember what it's called. Hmm. They sent me three copies and I've given three of them away. So. Oh, wow. Well, well they were to fan, fan club people. Uh-huh. Right. And, um, uh, so this is, like, just uh, all the old hits and stuff, right? Oh, I mean, yeah. like, there's nothing rare or anything on it? No. Oh, well. But, I mean, hey, it's good to collect anyway, you know? They all yeah, have different so pictures and stuff on it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's just a different mix as well. They can, they can get more top end on them nowadays because of the CD. Uh-huh. Right. Oh, yeah. Well, I have I have several compilations anyway. Yeah. Uh, sweet. And, I, like I say, the most recent one I know of is the one called Hit Singles, and that's the one I got. And it's, it's great, you know? That's on the repertoire, right? Right. Yeah, and that's out in Germany. That's supposed to be doing quite well as well. Uh-huh, great, yeah. I haven't got that. I oh, you haven't got it yet? I send me them. I have to go out and buy them, and I'm not doing that. Uh-huh. Really? How come they don't send them to you? I don't know. That's crazy. Get on to them. Yeah, I would think so. Um, as a matter of fact, I heard that um, Platinum Rare 2 was going to be released, but the thing is that um, Andy can't find a record deal for it. Really? Yeah. Is that true? Well, I don't know. I don't know. That's what I heard. I was like, wow. Because, I mean, I, I thought maybe you guys had, like, a long-standing record deal with Repertoire. No? Mm, I don't know. I think they're all one-off deals. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, like, kind of as you go along kind of yeah, thing. right. Yeah, because Platinum Rear 1 was great. And, you know, I'm kind of looking forward to Platinum Rear 2, you know? And yeah, I must admit, I was looking forward to that, too. Yeah. We did some stupid things, you know, funny, funny stupid things in studios at times. Uh-huh. And a lot of them were kept. And and you know what songs are going to be on the Platinum Rear 2? No idea. No idea? No idea at all. I haven't spoken to Andy. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, I understand that the last I heard that he's doing some gigs in Germany, uh, in the eastern part of Germany, and some gigs in West Germany as well. I mean, it's all one now, but, you know, they still call it, I guess, you know, the eastern part and the western part, you know. Yeah. yeah. So, I guess, you know, and his um, band, you know, they have a CD called... Uh, Glitz, Blitz, and Hits, yeah. and that hasn't been released yet either, as far as I know, and I've heard for the same reason, that he can't find a record deal for it, which I find amazing, mm. you know? Well, actually, all he's done is gone into the studio and re-recorded everything. Yeah. Which, oh, yeah. But... Like, like Brian did, right. You know, Brian made a dreadful job. Oh, well. But with Brian, you can, uh, you can understand, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, yes and no. I mean, it's, it just sounds like they've gone into the studio, stuck a mic in the middle of the broom and played. Uh-oh. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, it's not the best. But what I mean is, like, um, I, I heard, like, that Brian has Parkinson's disease. Is that true? No. Oh, it's no. not true? No. The, um, it's, it's, they've, t they've tested him for everything and they can't find anything. Oh, really? Really? Mm. Oh, because I heard that, um, oh, I believe it was January 27th, there was this big show in England, I think the Brixton Academy in London, yeah. and Status Quo, they were like the ones that organized the whole event, it was like, you know, a lot of different bands, yeah. and the, I heard that they're friends with Brian or something, and they invited him there as a guest, and somebody saw him walk in and said that he needed two people to help him walk in. That's quite possible. Yeah, that's sad. I mean, I, I thought maybe that that, you know, had something to do with it. I mean, he's not drinking anymore, is he? Oh, no. No. But he caught pneumonia once. And apparently you can catch this other disease with pneumonia if it's not treated. Uh, oh. It affects the nervous system. Oh, I see. Not any... I don't know what it's called. Right. But um, that's what they seem to think has happened here. Oh. Uh, he has his good days and bad days. Uh-huh. And, I mean, uh, when we were at 
uh, Lisa's wedding, my daughter's wedding. Uh huh. Uh, my wife said that he was, you know, he, he sort of, he was there. Right. Reception. And the, um, he was shaking away and she just held his hand and he stopped shaking. Really? Yeah. So it. He must have felt better that someone was there to comfort him. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I, don't, I really don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's psychosomatic or, or what, but it's definitely there. And he does have a job walking. Yeah, well, that's sad. I sure hope that somehow we can figure out what it is, you know? Well, he's, he's seen a specialist, like yesterday, I think. Uh-huh. And they reckon... Well, there was a, a few years ago, they reckoned that um, he could have been given this particular drug that will stop him shaking, but it's so powerful that it'll knock his liver out. Oh, yeah, he wouldn't want to do that, especially with all he's been through with the alcohol, you know. Right. I'm sure his liver is not that great as it is. Well, apparently it's it's not too bad because he's stopped drinking when he's been off the booze for 10 years. Right. And now they can give him this drug. Yeah, well, well maybe maybe he should at least try it for like a little bit and then see how it goes. I mean, yeah. if it really affects him and he can stop right away, you know. Yeah. Because oh, yeah, I mean, if it does just stop it and then he can stop taking it, that would be great, obviously. Oh, yeah, that would be great, yeah. Because if it is that strong, it sounds like it could damage him in other ways. Exactly, yeah, definitely. Mm. Well, um, another thing that I heard, and I don't know if this is, again, another rumor or what, but um, I have heard that um, I write this guy in England, and he knows this guy named Kevin Smith, yeah. and he's also a guy there in England, and this Kevin guy claimed to have spoken to Andy recently. I don't know anything about this Kevin guy, so I don't know if he really knows him oh, or... I met him, I know who he is. Oh, okay. Mm. And, well, anyway, um, he, he says that uh, this Kevin guy spoke to Andy recently, and Andy has agreed to do, like, one song with the whole original band. And, he? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know if this is, like, you know, just a rumor or what. Like I say, I mean, I don't know, you know? No, well, he's hard up then, is he? <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, sounds like it. Yeah. No, I, I haven't spoken to him. Yes, I did. I spoke to Andy about a week ago. Oh, really? And he didn't mention anything about it. Yeah, well, then maybe it is just a rumor or something. Well, he, he's, Kevin Smith is Andy's little outlet. That's where all these little things come from. Who, is he like another musician or something? Uh, no, he's a crook, actually. Uh-oh, really? No, he's not a crook. He's a... He's a con man, sort of, will do anything for a buck. Oh, so somebody you can't really trust? No, absolutely not. Yeah. Oh. So he's, he's like Andy's right-hand or left-hand man, you know, it's like, it's very strange. Really? And that, but uh, Andy doesn't go to these record companies, he sends this Kevin Smith. Really? Yeah. How come? Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, you know, if I was in a record company wanting to make a deal, I would definitely want to be there myself because, you know, I want to negotiate, you know, the royalty aspects and all that, you know? Yeah, well, the, the Kevin Smith goes to him and says, what, what what will you give us? And he goes back to Andy and asks Andy and, and they sort of come to a, some sort of decision. Unless Andy doesn't feel that he's a good negotiator. I think a lot of people won't negotiate with him. Oh. And, and why is that? He's such a pain in the butt. Really? Yeah. Oh, really? Well, see, I've never spoken to him or anything. I mean, you know, so I, I don't know the first thing except, you know, do interviews and stuff I've got, well, you know? He's very egotistical. Yeah. Well, me, 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 and I'm a bit more about me. Yeah, well, that's sad, you know? Yes. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, if, if he really cared about, you know, other people, that he would be more in touch with the band about, you know, different things, you know? Uh, we're at loggerheads at the moment about our publishing. Really? Yeah, he wants to do, he wants to take his songs out of the publishing company, and which we're not going to let him. Good, yeah. I mean, after all, you know, you wrote a lot of those songs with him. Right. Yeah. You and Mick and uh, Andy together, right? Right. Yeah, exactly. But he said he wants to split the uh, publishing company up into four and then and go about it that way. And, I, and everyone said, you've got to be stupid. A publishing, a, a distribution or collecting company isn't going to want to do a deal with a quarter of a publishing company. Right. Yeah, you know, there's no point. 
Now, publishing means that they they um, have your songs, and when anybody wants to use them, that means that they have to go through them. Yeah. Right. Okay. And I yeah. want I didn't really have the full understanding of that, right? Well, I know I know the law at times. Uh, well, see, I don't know too much about the business aspect, you know. No, I had to steer clear of it myself. Unfortunately, because they got, I could have kept my eye on it a lot closer if I'd known what was going on. Yeah. Well, I think it's difficult, especially like when you guys were younger, you know. Well, that, we were on the road. Right. You know? and, and you were like so into your music that, you know, uh, there probably wasn't that much time anyway no. to be thinking about the business aspect of things, you know. Right. That's about right. Right. To be making records and doing tours and all that stuff. Yeah. Making other people money. Uh-oh. So you guys didn't really make too much money out of Sweet, huh? Um... Uh, we don't have to tell me. I mean, I, I was just. Uh, I, could, I should have made a, a lot more. Let's put it that way. In other words, you guys got ripped off a lot. Oh, it was bad deals. Really? Um, too much money spent in the studio. You can blame Andy on that. Oh really? Mm. Oh wow. Well, how much is like studio time for like maybe like an hour or something? Ninety pounds an hour. It was. In. Like Hundred and. 130 bucks an hour. Really? Yeah. Really? That's how much studio time costs? Is that like average? It is. That was when we were doing Cut Above the Rest. So imagine now. Wow. Oh, they haven't gone up since then. They were charging us too much. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, no, it was because they knew you were very successful and they figured you guys could pay it. Um, it was a new studio and they thought they were worth it because they put so much into it. Oh, really? And was this studio in, like, London or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah. really? Shepherd's Bush, where the who comes from. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, interesting, yeah. Wow. Well, you know, I don't know, but at least at least you guys came through it okay, you know? Well, still What can I say, you know? Yeah. Right. Well, I spoke to Joe Elliott of Def Leppard. Oh, recently? Yeah. Oh, how's he doing? He's all right. They're doing a new album. They've nearly finished that, actually. So. Right. I think it's called Slide. Is it? Yeah, and it's coming out in March. That's oh, what I okay. heard. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. I know you had told me that um, uh, Action was on the um, Greatest Hits that they have out, but that Not was on the American version. Right, right. Because I had the American one. I, I didn't even know, you know, what was what overseas, but I know you had mentioned it, and you know. Yeah, well, they didn't release Action here, so they can't really call it a Greatest. It, can they? No, exactly. How come? Why didn't they release it here? Uh, no. Really? I don't know. Hmm. I know that they have a video for their song Rocket and Sweet is on there. Yeah. Yeah. Keep your eyes open. Yeah, very, very briefly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I had heard a couple of years ago, speaking of Def Leppard, that um, they had offered Sweet a lot of money for you guys to, like, reform. Really? Is yeah? I mean, is that, is that another rumor? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, you know. Uh, you get, uh, Brian shot his mouth off a couple of years ago. For three, about three or four years ago. Uh-huh. And it was in one of the daily newspapers that, well, we've just been offered um, one and a half million pounds each to, to reform. And I went, what are you talking about? <laughs> well, I haven't heard anything. So no, you didn't know anything about it until you yeah, read something in the paper. Yeah, yeah, that's that's crazy. Yeah, I think somebody may have said to him, you know, I reckon that if you got to back together, you should ask for a million. That's what I think he's done. Yeah. Well, that's... He does get things in his head once in a while that you go... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, um, it would be great if you guys could reform for maybe like one show or something, but I realize it's difficult, especially with you living here and the other guys living in England, you know? That yeah. doesn't make it any easier. Well, it's, uh, it's, uh, the thing that makes it non-easy is the fact that Brian hates and bands his guts. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, that can make it really difficult. It could make it a lot. Yeah, I would say so. In fact, I've got an article that was written in the Sunday something or other, last Sunday, actually. Um, oh, really? You guys still get some press? And, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, well, with the album in the charts. It... Oh, that's right. In England, I assume. Yeah, England, right. right. Uh-huh. Um, and there's the, what is it, the sweet smell of hatred or something. And it's all about Brian hating Andy's guts. And then it's Andy going, well, he brought it upon himself, and all this, that, and the other, going backwards and forwards. <laughs> Fine. Um, actually, I'm going to phone the fella tomorrow morning. 
see if I can get hold of him and put a third perspective on it and tell him about the book. Yeah, that would be great. I think that would really be a good idea, you know? Yeah. Yeah, because, um, you know, it, it's just crazy when people go back and forth making accusations and then, you know, no one really knows the true story, you know? Yeah, well, and at I least was, you can kind of set the record straight and, you know. I was always the one that was standing back going, what the hell are they doing now? <laughs> so I remember these things. Yeah, so it seems like Brian and Andy, like, never got along. Uh, in the early days, a bit. But glee guitarists and singers never get along. Oh, really? How come? Because they're both, um, well, the name itself, lead guitarist and lead singer. It's like, I am the face. I know, but they both think that they were the ones in control of the more. Well, they thought that they were the ones that, you know, that really meant most. Yeah. And, and Andy hated Brian because me and Brian are the ones that people remembered. Uh-huh. And, right. And they always got Mick and Andy confused. Really? <laughs> you know, it's the ones with the black hair. Right, right. They go up to Mick and go, yes, well, Andy, what was your last, you know, and it's like it used to drive every, both of them nuts. <laughs> really? Mm. Well, it's amazing, you know, that they still speak, or do they? No. Oh, they don't? No. Oh, okay. Yep. I know that Mick used to work with Andy. Yeah, and she, until he threw him out of the band. Oh, really? How come? They said he was drinking too much. Oh. And so what's Nick doing now? Are they still involved in music? I haven't spoken to him for ages. Really? No. Wow, so you have no idea what he's doing. I don't think he's doing anything. Really? Yeah, well, the, the last I had heard, and again, I don't know if this is a rumor or what, because I do write a couple of people, and you know how rumors get spread around, and you never really know what's true and what's not. But I had heard that he dyed his hair blonde and doesn't want anybody to you know, know him or recognize him or anything. I heard he dyed his hair blonde as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, then maybe it's, there's some truth to it. I don't know. But that's the last I had heard, and that was a while ago. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if he's going gray, then dye it black. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I would. Yeah. Not, but I would. Yeah, I, I don't think you'd be going grey for a long time. No, I've I've had silver hairs in my head ever since I was a kid, but cause that comes with the hair anyway. Uh huh. Comes with the colour. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, it does actually. Right. There's all different colours in red hair. It's, that's why you can't really get it out of a bottle. Right. It looks false. Right. Well, I did see. Um, uh, well, not too recent, I suppose. It's almost a year ago now, but um, a couple of pictures from the barbecue that you had oh, with yeah. some of the fans. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, last year. So that's the most recent picture that I've seen of you. And you look great, so you have nothing to worry about. You know, you really do look like, you know, you, you look much younger than you are, you know? Oh, thank you. Yeah. I usually get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've been playing tennis since then. Oh, great. Yeah. Yeah, and how, how's the tennis going? It's getting there. Yeah? There's a lot more to it than you think. Oh, really? Just bashing a ball across the net. Oh, really? I, I, I don't play tennis. My mm. big thing is swimming. Of course, you can't do that in the kind of weather we have right now. Not outside, you can't. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you guys don't really realize it, but we have, like, temperatures of, like, 15 below zero here. Oh, no, I've been keeping my eye on the temperatures of back east, and they're dreadful. Yeah. And that's like the wind chill factor, so it's like really unbelievable. And yeah. We've had quite a winter this year. I've noticed. Yeah, we've Most had... The Midwest and the East Coast have had dreadful winter. Oh, yeah, like massive snowstorms and stuff. And we had yeah. like huge blizzard in January, and, you know, we're still expecting more snow, so... Oh, God, are you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. How many inches you had so far? About 12 foot, isn't it? Um, well, it, what happens is, you know, we, we had like maybe two and a half feet three feet from that storm in January, right. and then some of it melted, and then um, we got some rain, and then we got more snow, So and then rain again, so it's been like it's melting, and then right after it melts, it seems like we get more snow again, so right now we have mm, like about a foot, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and we're expecting more tomorrow, but I, I look forward to summer, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can, I blame you. Yeah. You can go swimming and do lots of fun outdoor activities. You can't really do that much, you know, in the winter, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And um, I train dogs, Labrador Retrievers. Oh, do you? Yeah. That's Is that for a living? Yeah. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, and well, I've always loved dogs anyway, but um, you know, it, it's it's fun, and um, you know, they they win like dog shows. There's dog shows all over the country, yeah. and um, so these dogs have been like you know top winners, and one of them is worth like ten thousand dollars now because he's won so many shows and wow. has had so many awards. You know, yeah. yeah. So you know, it's fun. You don't get to meet too many people. That's the only bad thing. But you know, yeah. I do love animals, so you know, and especially dogs. So to me, it's fun, you know. Well, labs are nice anyway. They're very friendly. Yeah. Yeah. They're good with kids, aren't they? Oh yeah, very, very. Yes, they they love everybody. I mean, they're the kind of dog that, you know, they would like jump in the car and go with anybody, you know, yeah. as long as that person seemed friendly, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Get your eye on them then. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a dog? Well, uh, we've got uh, we've got one dog and two cats. Oh really? Yeah, the dog was was a stray that was roaming around the area for a couple of months. Uh-huh. And, uh, it was like about four years ago, I suppose. Oh. And uh, then one day, there was my missus, Maureen, went out to take Danielle to the carpool car, you know, to go to school. Right. And it was pouring the rain. And Vinny was, well, he wasn't called Vinny then, but he is now, um, tried to get in the car with her. And the woman driving said, oh, it's all right, I've called the dog pound. They're coming to pick him up. And Maureen picked him up and brought him into the kitchen. <laughs> and he's been here ever since. Aw, that's great. It sounds like she loves dogs and well, didn't want to see anything strange. happen to him. She loves strays. She took me in. You know. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Aw. But she sounds like a wonderful woman, you know. Oh, she's lovely, isn't she? Like a, yeah, I mean to you know accept all the fans and stuff, and you know. Yeah, it's not, it's not easy actually. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, at, at least she she does understand and she does care, and I mean yeah. you know there are women who wouldn't, you know. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and you know, I mean, it's just you know fun to you know keep in touch and and, and find out what's going on with everybody's career and stuff, and you know. Well, the, somebody's trying to actually, uh, this is not official, in fact it's not anything at the moment, but uh, a fella called John Coletta, who used to manage Deep Purple, is trying to get us back together without Andy. Oh, really? Hmm. Well, uh, it all sounds <laughs> a little pie in the sky to me, because uh, I think it's already fallen apart, mind you, because it was supposed to start off in all places at Japan. Japan? Oh, wow. But I don't ask me why. There was some... You guys only played there, like, once, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think there was something about the promoter was really weird, and... I don't know, we're talking about the wars or something? I think that's what you said in the book. Yeah, it was um, the promoter. Well, there was a couple of things went wrong. Um, but uh, the first gig we ever we did there, uh, there was a fellow that wouldn't get off the stage because he thought he was headlining. Oh, really? <laughs> and so eventually only left us uh, about 30 minutes to get the gear on the stage and play. Oh. We said, forget it. So there was a right hoo-ha about that, because uh, the Japanese promoters are very much mafia. Really? Oh, yeah, they're, they're called Yakuza. They're, um... And they are nasty people. Really? I thought the most of that went on in Italy. Oh, uh, no, what is this? The, the Japanese mafia. Yeah, towards the end of the tour, apparently our manager, Ed Leffler, bless his soul, and the main promoter uh, had a few too many and started talking about the Pearl Harbor. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was a, a died in the, you know, true blue American. And oh, no. <laughs> I mean, you know... Got it's, around to Hiroshima as well. <laughs> I mean, and that has, like, nothing to do with, you know, music or no, or, no. Even, or anything to even do with, with them, you know? I mean, that was, like, years ago. Yeah. You know, that's uh, crazy. Yeah, well, I think that's what put the kibosh on that, anyway. Yeah. Oh, I'd better go and see to my little girl. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I hope she feels better soon. Oh, she'll be all right. Oh. Uh, well, well, nice talking to you again. Oh, it's nice talking to you too, Steve. Thanks yeah. so much for your time. Oh, d yeah, no, the, t the other part of the story was, um, uh, yes, no, if we d uh, he's trying to get the band back together. That was what we were talking about. Right, right, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah we got sidetracked. With another guitarist and a keyboard player. Oh, really? Anybody well-known? No, not that I know of. <laughs> That's the trouble. 
Oh, so you're trying to get somebody better then. Oh, a better can. keyboardist and a better guitarist. Yeah, you've got to get an excellent... Well, the idea would be to get somebody with a name like Brian May or something like that. Oh, that would be interesting. Really? Yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, and well, I don't know if that's going to happen. Well, you know, Queen is no longer together, I'm sure, you know. that I think they vowed that they would never get back together since Freddie's death. Yeah. But no, they did release a CD called Made in Heaven. Right. Right. Which is terrible. I must say it's the worst thing they've, they've ever done oh, that yeah. I've heard. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. It's really sad. And, you know, you can just sort of, like, feel the, the pain and stuff in the music, you know? Well, yeah. I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, it's, right. it's just not them. No. But Brian May's a great musician. That yeah, would be yeah. great if you guys got to work with him. Well, that would be the way I'd go if I was going anywhere. Yeah. So uh, we'll see. Well, I really hope it happens for you. Okay. Yeah. I'll let you know. Yeah, okay. All right. All right, well, I'll give you a call again sometime. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and I hope that you have good luck with this information and you get to be on this show. Oh, yeah, all right. I'll, I'll, do, I'll deal with that. Yeah, that would be great. Okay. Okay, thanks, Steve. All right, I'll speak to you soon. Okay, great. Thanks. Bye. -bye. Bye.